In this problem, we have to do two things. We have to find all values of x for which this series converges, and then we have to express uh, this series as a function. So in order to find the values of x for which this series converges, we're going to use something called the geometric series test. So basically, the first step is to identify r. So r is whatever piece is being raised to the nth power. So here r is equal to 8x. And the geometric series test will say that this series will converge if r is less than 1 in absolute value. So we basically, we take r, which is 8x, and we set it less than 1 because we know that the test says that our series will converge uh, in this case. So when you drop the absolute value here, you do get a 1 and a negative 1. Then we divide everything by 8. So we get negative 1 8th less than x less than 1 8th. So this is going to be the interval where our series converges. We can write it in interval notation with parentheses like this. Perfect. Later on, we'll learn that this is actually called uh, the interval of convergence. But for now, we know that this series converges uh, for the values of x that are between negative 1 8 and 1 8. To find the sum, we use the formula for the sum of an infinite geometric series. Recall that the easiest way to do this is to just take this number here and plug it in. And that goes up top. So you get 8x to the 1, and then you divide by, and you always do this. You always just take this number and you plug it in. It's always the first term, whatever it may be. So if this is a 2, you would plug in 2. If this is a 4, you plug in 4. And on the bottom, it's always 1 minus r. So in this case, it's just 1 minus 8x, because that's what your r is. So this would be 8x over 1 minus 8x. So this is actually a function. This is f of x, right? Your, your, your series can be written as a function, right? You can call this f of x. And the domain of this function, so this is the domain. You can think of it that way. So you have an infinite series that can be expressed as a function, right? For these values of x, your infinite sum is actually equal to this function, which is pretty cool. You know, you're representing uh, an infinite series as a function. That's a, it's a new idea. I hope this video has been helpful.